Hi, and welcome to Sam Stories with Mr. Ewing. Today's book that I've chosen is titled The Coral Kingdom, right there. Now, the Coral Kingdom is about one of the most beautiful places on Earth, actually underwater, called the Great Barrier Reef. And the Great Barrier Reef is located off the coast of Australia. Um, and I'm probably not the only person that thinks it's probably one of the most beautiful places on Earth because it is considered one of the seventh natural wonders of the world. Another interesting fact about the Great Barrier Reef is it is so long, it's actually longer than the Great Wall of China. Now, the Coral Kingdom uh, is a beautiful, beautifully illustrated book and that's the one of the other reasons that I chose this book is that the drawings and illustrations of the sea life that exist in and around the coral reef are beautifully beautifully executed so let's jump in to our story today the great coral kingdom by Laura Knowles and Jenny Weber come and see the coral reef beautiful beyond belief. From up above, you'd hardly know so much is going on below. Coral larvae, young and free, drift on currents through the sea until they find the perfect spot, a rocky shelf, a sunken yacht. Together, polyps build a home, layer by layer, hard as bone. I know this book because it's underwater and there's all kinds of stuff makes me want to be a pirate. Another thing it makes me want to do is there's a lot of terms and vocabulary in this book that you may not know, like polyp or larvae that was on the page before it. Take a moment. If you ever find a word that you don't know, try to figure it out based on what's in the book, but also Look it up. Where fish and shrimp and seahorse thrive, sharks patrol and dungan dive. Over many thousand years, this colossal reef appears. Through, though growing at a snail's pace, it's visible from outer space. Every creature plays its part to make this living work of art. This is another place in the book that I paused because I was like, is the reef living? Is that what they're trying to tell me? And I did a little research. What's your guess? Do you think the reef is alive? You should look it up. Let's take a dive. You want to know what colors do the coral grow? Here's another place that I had to stop. I I actually stop a lot in this book because there's so much information packed in here and it really has piqued my imagination. But I was wondering how many different colors are there of coral? How many colors do you think there are? Might be a good time to do a little research or let's read along in the story and find out. Again, beautifully, richly illustrated of the, the life that exists in the coral reef, the coral kingdom. Coral yellow, bright and bold, a salty sunset flecked with gold. Coral crimson, red and rose, where camouflage small, small creatures pose, as coral branch or feathered arm, staying tucked away from harm. And if you look at our illustration here, you notice that some of the sea creatures are the same color as the coral. If you notice over on the side, there's a, a fish tucked below some of the coral that you can hardly see. And different species use camouflage to remain safe. As it says in our books, st stay tucked away from harm. And it's one of the ways they're able to exist within the coral reef. Coral turquoise, emerald jade, living jewels that must not fade. As turtles cruise among the weed, upon their backs the cleaners feed. Now here's a good opportunity to 
think about a word that we know, cleaners, but in this context of the story, I'm like, well, I don't see any cleaners. So I'm going to go back and reread this section. As turtles cruise among the weed, upon their backs the cleaners feed. There's my clue to what cleaners is referring to. It says it's on the back of the turtle. And if you notice the small fish that are on the back of the turtle, those are our cleaner fish. They're actually helping to keep the turtle clean. Color purple, royal and grand, a throne emerging from the sand. As gentle mink whales glide past, a blue ring octopus holds fast. It's really amazing how all these different forms of life exist all together in perfect harmony in this beautiful ecosystem. Coral dark and inky black, where sulking nighttime hunters track. That's another hunter. I know of the term hunter, people that go out and, and hunt other animals like, you know, with bows and arrows and, and guns. But I think sea creatures were hunters too. You know, it kind of gives me some indications of what they are in my story, but this would be another great place to go out and do a little bit of research. But Coral's white's a ghostly fright. Something's Something here is far from right. Ooh, it's giving us some really important information because it was talking about all these beautiful colors, but some of the coral is turning white. I wonder what's causing that. Let's lend a hand. We want to know how we can help the coral grow. I wonder if growing in the white has something to do with each other. Hmm. To keep this treasure of the sea, we must choose greener energy. Wait, our energy sources affect the coral too? See, this is where this story is actually giving me all kinds of other things that I want to now research about the coral reef. The time is now, the chance is brief. Stand up and save the coral reef. So that in the future, oh, sorry, let me reread that. So that in future, all will know this coral kingdom down below. The Coral Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed this book by Laura Knowles and Jenny Weber. I really find the Great Barrier Reef to be one of the absolute beautiful places on earth. And this book does a beautiful job of presenting the research and the information that provides us to kind of get an indication or an inkling of what the world is really like down there. And I would really love for you to go out and do some research to find out why the coral is turning white. And that's one of the biggest problems that we have going on out in the world that is affecting this amazing, beautiful ecosystem, the coral kingdom. I hope you've enjoyed the story today, and thank you, as always, for coming and listening to our story.